For this episode of Road to the Show, we have come down to Hatchmoto's workshop to discover a bit more about the bike representing present. So Mark, thank you for having us, mate. And thank you for building this incredible looking machine. I mean, this is representing present for us on the poster, isn't it? So we've got the past, present, future theme, and let's dig into it a little bit. I mean, it's representing present because underneath the visual, we've got a fairly modern bike, haven't we? Yeah, it's a JSXR 1000K9, so mm -hmm. 2009 model, yeah. So you've got basically modern day running gear on a bike that looks fresh from the 80s. And of course, last year at the 2022 show, we had your slab side. Yeah. Which, what year was that? That's 88-1100. Right. And that, that was a beautiful bike at the show last year. So what was the driving force from that one to this one? So after the show last year, yeah, I decided I've got to make an entry next year. And I loved that bike. I loved how it felt. Um, but yeah, the idea was to take the kind of essence you get from that bike into a modern day sports bike which has all the yeah. performance. So you've got the dynamic capabilities. Yeah, putting the two together um, and yeah I just find modern sports bikes on you know just to me they don't look great. Ugly. So, ugly yeah <laughs> pretty ugly especially the stock K9 I just think yeah. it's horrendous. Um, so it was yeah it was trying to combine the two and seeing if it was possible to to take yeah modern GSXR and make it look good like the old ones did. Yeah and you say the old ones so we started with the the slab side that was early mid 80s and then it moved to slingshot 88 89 89ish, yeah and so you've called this the slab shot because it's a yeah. combo of both right yeah so i started off trying to get the this to look like well effectively a slab side uh, and then i started looking at the early slingshot endurance bikes um and there was yeah it kind of evolved somewhere between the two and then yeah the two names came together and I just thought it was pretty simple. It works really well. Yeah. It kind of explains what it is. You're not a full-time pro bike builder, are you? What are you doing? No, What's the I'd day like job? to be. <laughs> but um, no, so I do kind of high-end fabrication um, for kind of interiors, designers, artists, architects, right. like it's kind of the final end of a lot of brass stuff, Ali, mm -hmm. stainless, like. So that hence the, the metal work and pieces like the dash. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Where possible, I'm making the parts. Let's move through from the front to the back. What's the, this fairing is, this isn't slingshot standard fairing, is it? No, this it's is... an endurance type fairing, uh, right. which the Suzuki endurance team are running. Um, I think it's 89 or 90. Mm. Um, I love the face you get with the yeah, like bright so pink nostrils. And originally you would have the, the headlights in yeah. this section. Um, and what's the plan? Are you going to have a headlight on here? Yeah, so this is going to go in. Um, it's still kind of in progress, but there'll be oh, a... It's, it's road to the show. We're not, yeah. we're not, we're not done yet. <laughs> so we might, that'll be into maybe a block of alley machined out to, to accept that. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's the plan. And then moving back through the cockpit here. Yeah, so oh. front end, we've got a um, machined uh, top yoke, which is designed to look basic and kind yeah. of like the old I love how old style. clean it is. Yeah, we've got all the, you know, original things are stripped off, clocks and switch gear and everything. I've milled out this plate, which is going to take the stock clock taco it's right. going to go behind that but so it just cleans it all, all up. All the little warning lights lined up. Yeah, so everything. they just ping through oh, and you get the lights coming through. Beautiful. Um, got some clip-ons, quick action throttle, um, some braided lines down to some Brembo M4 monoblock calipers. Right. Um, so yeah, a few performance upgrades and then also just making it feel functional and kind of like an old race bike. So this is going to be, it's obviously hugely race inspired but it's going to be a road legal bike? Yeah, road legal. It will have some switch gear, switch gear on, simplified, um, to operate the lights and yeah. horn and things that you need for that, um, and a tail light as well. But that's that's the plan. Yeah, mm. it's kind of race focused. Uh, be great on track days, but also you don't want it. You want to be able to use the things. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love these um, '90s. They almost, they remind me of the um, ZXR750. A few bikes yeah. had them, though, didn't they? But yeah, a few of the, the bikes had them. I think the ZXR is probably more fa most famous for them. Yeah. But Hoover tubes. It's, yeah, I took off the original 
air intakes, which matched obviously the stock fairing, um, and then fed these back into the airbox. Um, right. These will be capped off as well. Um, so it's another part to make. And moving back through the tank, this isn't the K9 tank, is it? This is... No, it's a slingshot tank. Well, it started as a slingshot tank. Right. Um, cut the bottom off um, and just offered that up to get that line. Yeah. Um, I love then, the way you've got these two lines sweeping from the top of the fairing and the top of the screen just coming all the way back through the bike. Yeah, well, a lot of the, yeah, a lot of the work was figuring out this, the line through the tank and the seat. And then obviously here, we got had a huge void of you know where the slingshot tank ended and where this tail section ended and this was all carved out of form uh modeled you know and blended in and then fiberglassed and yeah so there's a bit of so a lot the, of time and so the that. tank and the seat unit are now one-off custom yeah. made pieces yeah completely yeah. right i love the fillers here the twin fillers yeah endurance cap which will yeah. feed to a fuel cell aluminium fuel cell underneath with a fuel pump in um, and then quick filler cap. And the frame is gorgeous, I love the brushing on here, that's, that's, that's yeah. not how they so, were in 2009 no, is it? They are all, yeah, the stock frame is black, swing arm's black um, and it's a rough, has a rough texture on from where it's been cast um, like on the front here, this is all got the sand cast texture on it still so yeah it was engine out, swing arm frame out and that was solder blast and then quite a few hours of brushing, to be honest. Right, yeah. <laughs> Through the different grits, um, working back to the finer grits and then scotch bright. Um, it's beautiful. But I think, again, you know, talking about the language of the, and the feel of the old or early 90s bikes and the 80s bikes, the, one of the big changes is visually is that having that bare alley yeah. frame, bare alley swing arm. Um, so I think it wouldn't be the same if, we, if that was left. And yeah, talking about one of the biggest visual changes, this paint design is epic. I love yeah. the, the super dark purple of the front wheel, really kind of like pulls the weight down at the front, doesn't it? And then this sort yeah. of like flamboyant, it fades out so fine at the back here. It's like, yeah, don't even register that was, it. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm glad you picked up on that because that's a uh, kind of visual trick I was trying to do is pull it right. down and make it planted at the front and the back wheel kind of gets lost a bit in the The day. paint job's stunning. Who did the paint? That was Ian Boltwood. Right. Um, he's, yeah, he's absolutely nailed it. None of it is decals, it's all... Uh, it's all paint. It's, yeah, it's all stenciled, masked off, uh, it's all paint. So it's, <sighs> if you run your finger over it, yeah. it's just completely smooth. I love so. the, the little pink line coming So through. yeah, yeah, he's it's, it's, it's turned my... Uh, Photoshop designs into just you know this is how it was. All right, that's some of the later designs. Lots of lots of different designs on Photoshop awesome. and Illustrator. Yeah, um, this is the old font. I downloaded a lot of 80s and 90s font packages. <laughs> you know, ended up on it's a bad uh, habit. This one, um, which then yeah, from that point it was kind of over to the yeah. Uh, I love the name Slabshot, it kind of encapsulates what you've done in terms of blending eras and you've kind of got four decades of Suzuki here, haven't you? You've got mm. 80s, the paint job screams 90s at me and then 2009 being built today in 2023, I mean, your 2022 bike, I know we mentioned it earlier, but it's just, it's just over here, <laughs> it doesn't look quite the same yeah, anymore. You might not recognise it. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Uh, I used it a few times. Used it a few times, <laughs> yeah. That's what we like to see, that's what they're for, isn't it? Yeah. You, so you, you've you been racing on this one? Well, I didn't get as far as I did a few track days on it and I was planning to race it with a classic club. But yeah, I found out it wasn't eligible. It's got an s red front end on. So but the plan this year is to take it, um, swap the front end out for a close to a stock one or a right way up front end. And then right. uh, it'll be eligible for post classic, 1300 class and Hopefully get a few rounds in on it. It looks very different to when I last saw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> and we've got, there's a little bit of time left on the show, so there's a few things still to still to finish and do on this. What, what are your plans for doing yeah. on the show? So we've got the things on the front to sort out, clock and headlight, and then I've got another rear set to make. I've got a foot peg on the other side, which I've, yeah, that's oh, yes. finished, and it's, yes, yeah, pretty basic kind of. <laughs> Functional old Yoshi type looking thing. Um, so yeah, we've got one more to go on the other side. And then is this the pipe you're playing with with pipes at the moment? Yeah, that's that gonna come. I'm thinking about that. I need to chop it and weld it and modify the link to go in there somewhere. But 
I'm not I'm not dead set on it. It came on the slab side when I bought the slab side. Right. And I took it off because it's such a kind of big bore and it wasn't working with the carb setup so but anyway yeah that something like that or an old Yoshi cyclone if I could find one. These tires I mean you you're slick on the side here aren't you? These are Yeah lovely things yeah. Um yeah complete it's pretty much a slick obviously it'd be a steeper profile and slick yeah. but um yeah I'm looking forward to testing them out. Yeah test them out on a on a track before after the show that, I'd oh. love I'd love to just take this do a track day before the show. Um, oh. Uh, it's a big risk though, um, but it would be great to, to, yeah. to properly use it. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what, as we've seen, you like to properly use your bikes that look pretty yeah. good one day. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the plan is for this to stay in pretty yeah. good nick. Um, and there's, there's another little Susie over here. This, um, this, this is kind of the original shape of the slingshot tank that we were talking yeah. about earlier, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's a bit smaller on these because they're a smaller frame and smaller still bike. still got your yeah, 90s reference of the zigzags. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was the big, actually quite a big influence on that. Right. Um, yeah, with the graphics and everything. Um, yeah. While we're over here, we've got, got the little trophy wall. Yeah, that's rookie season. Yeah, what I did. A, Few years ago with Bemsey, uh, Thunderbike Sport on an R6. Great. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'll get any this year, but uh, <laughs> it's easier when you're a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, it's such a fantastic thing. I love how it's kind of, it almost feels like a, a bike that the factory could have made. It's kind of, with the, with the graphics, the wording, it kind of feels, yeah. feels like it could have come out in the 90s, right? This, this is the whole point really of trying to make it feel like it could have been designed and made in the 90s and it's yeah it's not it's bright but it's not bright for the sake of being mm. bright it's like kind of got a lot of details to bring it back to a, potentially a production bike with yeah you know especially with the name and like the brand and the engine size you know you're getting a lot of that you know the in the days the, you know they like to market them in that mm. way and i think yeah that that was the key really to getting that yeah. feel to it F factory full custom finish oh mate it's stunning listen i can't wait to see the finished article for the poster and then have it at the show yeah i'm excited about that congrats, congrats. thank Didn't you me. mate cheers thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video we'll be back soon with more road to the show content please like subscribe and follow i'm off to download some 90s fonts <laughs>